people are walking in with their tickets like, well, we're gonna go and see this thing. 20 minutes before he went on, I was still learning how to sing down a microphone. <laughs> what we let ourselves in for? It's gonna be embarrassing. This is gonna be the end of Willie and the Bandits. We're gonna be getting tomatoes thrown at us on stage. <laughs> I'm of Princess Pavilions, and it's probably one of my favourite venues in the country, man. I love it. This place is just like, boom, boom, banging. The lead up to it was just practising like you've never seen. My fingers were bleeding. So once we'd recorded the song in the barn, Adam from AW Sound, who did all the recording, went away and he mixed the track. It's Friday night and I've just started getting to work on the song. And he sent me the finished track and using that I created the visuals that were going to play behind Stokesy, Willie and the band at the live gig in Falmouth. It's quite unique and it's something we've never done before is we had to play the track exactly as we recorded it to sync up with the visuals that Mr B had done, so we had to play exactly in time for the track. Nerves, energy of the crowd, the factors that make you speed up when you're playing, we just had to try and ignore them. And with someone who's never performed on stage before, so <laughs> it's, it was our. Every day I made sure I played through the 10 minute track at least three times a day. By the time the gig came around, I was pretty confident that I was good enough, time, timing wise and then that just all vanished when I walked through the door. We've actually locked him in the venue so we can't escape <laughs> and run away. So we got to the gig, we got there at 12, give ourselves plenty of time. And I thought we'd have this window of just having to practice together. We had all these little technical problems that you have when you do a live show. We ended up with an hour really to kind of rehearse. And we went through it 10 times. Every time I got something wrong. We didn't get through it once. <laughs> That, that doesn't mean we didn't sync up with the visuals. We didn't actually manage to finish the track at all. <laughs> the nerves were coming in and I kept on like going to the wrong verse or going straight to the chorus or just missing big chunks out. It's because it's quite a complex song. The, the genres change quite a lot through it. We, we just weren't getting it. And My confidence just went, poor, gone. To the point where the sound guy came up to me and just went, have you ever sang down a microphone before? And he had to teach me how to, to stand there and sing down a microphone. And at this point, there's people walking in. And we had to stop and we hadn't actually got through the track. So you can imagine what we were all like backstage. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't got it. I can't play it right. It's, it's like now or never. Yeah, I feel good now, actually. I feel good. Still a little bit nervous, but now I feel good. Literally just before we went on, I had to take myself away and have a pretty good like talking to myself, try and suppress the nerves to the point where I felt like I could actually pick a guitar up. <laughs> <laughs> and then the next thing I know, Willie's like welcoming me on stage. And uh, yeah, we're going to invite Alan to stage now. Hope you enjoy it. Cheers. <laughs> And uh, the rest of it from there was a bit of a blur. I remember he told me, when you come on, don't say anything. You don't need to talk. Hi. I even said something like, let's see if we can get it right this time. Let's see if we can get this right first. <laughs> and that was like my, let's go. The hardest part is to start a song when like you're nervous. And it all is on the guy who's never played a live gig before. The intro was like, two minutes long or something like that. A stupid amount of time to be doing an intro if you're a novice like me. He gets into the first chord and he's actually, you could feel it, he's bang on the pulse. Before you know it, he's got through his three minutes and we're in the song, we're all flying and... As soon as I got past that, suddenly the nerves disappeared and I enjoyed it. Thinking actually, you know, this is the best we've done it. Once Willie started playing along with me, I was like, oh. I faded back into the background where I belonged. <laughs> where I should have stayed the whole time. But sometimes there's always a take which just has a bit of magic in it and it just happened to be this take. In the last eight minutes was just absolutely brilliant fun and we really hammed it up on stage, it was great. I felt like a rock star for eight minutes. Comes to the end of the song and we uh, have just nailed it. Bang on the visuals. It timed, everything timed. And I, I'm actually, you can feel me now, I'm, I'm, I'm 
I got goosebumps thinking about it. And afterwards, I was buzzing. And I remember I played the last note, turned around, and everyone looked at me like the band just gobsmacked. Believe it, we just done it. It was like crazy. It's just like fortune favours the brave. <laughs> It was kind of the way it was meant to be. I wouldn't have done it any other way now. Do you know what I mean? If it was too easy, it would have been boring, and it was, it was really exciting to do. Oh, I absolutely nailed it, though. Like, oh. Best yeah. we played it, though. Best we played. That was, yeah, that was sick. <laughs> I feel so relieved actually that we I got it right. You know we yeah. finished like bang on the end of the foot. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Did you see it? I think I should have. Yeah, I'm a dreamer, I'm a good time. Big shout out as well for Mr. B Productions who uh put together with a fantastic um water footage that you see behind us and uh yeah cheers. <laughs> you're the girl. You're, you're the star man. Oh, I'm not the star. I'm just an extra. I just pop in like this. <laughs> Shake yourself off. <laughs> what are we up to, Willie? <laughs> Tell us what we're up to. I want to say a big thanks to everyone who came to the show and everyone who's been watching the webisodes online. Well, right, again tomorrow night? Retiring. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. That's it, yeah,